Okay. Well, <laughs> it's doable though. Okay. So I'm going to write this out horizontally instead of vertically like this complex fraction. All right. So we need common denominators uh, so that we're just looking at two fractions, which will allow us then to reciprocate the fraction there on the right of the divide sign. Uh, but we're going to find common denominators everywhere just so we can combine like terms as well. So let's focus first on this expression, 5 over 8 plus 2 minus 1 over 8 minus 2. So let's rewrite it. So this is what we have. We see that the first denominator is missing an a minus 2. And the second denominator is missing an a plus 2. So I'll have to multiply the 5 by a minus 2 as well. And the 1 times an a plus 2. So this gave us a common denominator of a minus 2 and an a plus 2 which looks like the factored form of a the difference of two perfect squares not that that really matters we're subtracting and right here I'm gonna combine these so I got a 5 times a and then a 5 times 2 so that gave me 5a minus 10 and this would be kinda of like a negative 1 distributed in here so I'd have a minus a and a minus 2 so combining these I've got a 5a and a negative a, giving me 4a. And then we also have negative 10 and negative 2, which would be minus 12. All over our common denominators. And in this numerator, we can factor out a 4 from both of those terms. So that leaves us with an a minus 3. Doesn't look like anything cancels out here, but um, that's okay. Still our final answer. If something could cancel it out, uh, cancel out, then we would. Late for me too. All right, yes, that's just for that red part right there. So I'll replace that later. Let's look at that second part, the first part now. Okay, well, on this one, Right, we got a 3 over 2 plus a plus 6 over 2 minus a. So I'll put these in parentheses just because we know we're going to have to multiply by the others. 2 minus a and a 2 minus a. Again, this is for common denominators. So this one will be 2 plus a. That's an a. And then a 6 times, oh man, 2 plus a. So we have those, those common denominators that we wanted, 2 minus a and 2 plus a. And in the numerator, this one's plus, so that's not too bad. But if I distribute that 3, then I get a 6 minus 3a. And then I'll distribute this 6, which would give me 12 plus 6a. And so combining like terms, we got a 6 and a 12, which would be 18. And a negative 3a plus 6a would be uh, plus 3a. And it looks like we can factor out a 3 from the numerator. So that gives us 3 and a 6 plus a. And it's over the same denominator. All right, well, I haven't forgotten about that other term, but let's go and look at all of this. So let's go and rewrite this. On the left here, I had this expression. So I got that 4 and then the a minus 3 all over a minus 2 and a plus 2. And this is divided by uh, what we had right here, which was 3 times 6 plus a all over 2 minus a and 2 plus a. So we have these two expressions that are being divided which means that we can now reciprocate that second 
part of the expression. All right, so I'm going to change this now into an addition problem. So I've got 4 times a minus 3. Everything on the left stays the same. I need more sleep. All right, I'm going to change this to multiplication. And then I've got a 2 minus a and a 2 plus a all over the 3 times the 6 plus a. All right, what I would want here now, and I kind of made that one full fraction, is to see if there's anything that I can cancel out. The way that it's written, I can't. So I'm going to manipulate things so that I can. So let's, let's look first here at this 2 plus A, right? This one's, yeah, this one we can cancel straight across because 2 plus A, I can use the commutative property and make that 2, uh, I'm sorry, A plus 2, which allows me to cancel that 2 plus A with A plus 2. So the 2 minus A, I'm going to manipulate in green. So 2 minus A, my objective here is to make it A minus 2 so that I can cancel those. So if I make this a 2 plus a negative A, then I can switch it with the commutative property to negative A plus 2, which is looking a little bit similar, but I'm still going to have to factor out a negative 1 from that, which would make that... What, what the heck? Oh, that's yeah, a positive A, sorry. Positive A, now minus 2. So that 2 minus A, let me go and write this with, without the canceled parts. Yeah. So you, before you go... All right, so what do we get when... I'm going to rewrite this, but without that A plus 2s, which were canceled. But I'm going to write 2 minus A as what I have in green there. So this is what I have now. I'm going to show that negative to be a negative 1 just so when I cancel those out I I can see that something is there and so we see that a minus 2 cancels out this a minus 2 it does not appear that even through manipulation that we would be able to cancel anything else out but we can combine that negative 1 and 4 bam there it is Now, whether you put 6 plus A or A plus 6, if for some reason you prefer to see it like that, is really up to you. But this is perfectly acceptable as well.